What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre, and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we caught this movement to the upside that brought us about 12%, almost 12% of potential profit. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what should we expect from the fundamental standpoint. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next on the price section. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that we hit uh, this uh, green bar, this range of accumulation and uh, this is the range uh, I marked uh, previously, this range I marked previously and this is uh, the uh, key points of previous price section. As you can see we had this range as the range of resistance and as the range of support and most likely we might have this range again as the range of support or resistance and it happened. I've told you that you can accumulate your position all the way down and you should put your stop loss slightly below this previous bottom at the ranges of about $8.10 mark. And uh, our main price target, uh, we have basically two, we had two price targets. First of all is 0 0.236 at the price point of $8.83 and the second one is uh, 0 0.382, it is a price point of $9.31 and uh, how I defined these targets. As you can see from this swing high I pulled the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool from this top to this bottom and uh, this is uh, two main points where we, have, we might have a bounce and it happened. And uh, definitely it was quite good movement to the upside and we retested uh, this uh, range of accumulation again and went almost to the same range right here. And right now we are retesting it for the fourth time and uh, in my technical analysis I will show you what should we expect. So let's continue with the fundamental news. Let me show you why we have uh, this quite harsh movement to the downside uh, during last session. Definitely one of the main reasons uh, is this uh, news. On March the 7th uh, we can see this article that was published on Yahoo Finance and it says Hawkish Powell puts uh, 50 basis points Fed rate hikes uh, back on the table. And let me quote to this. The Federal Reserve will likely need to rise interest uh, rates more than expected in response to recent strong data and is prepared to move in larger steps uh, if the totality of incoming information suggests tougher measures uh, are needed to control inflation, Fed Chair Jerome Powell told US lawmakers on Tuesday. And uh, definitely it was uh, one of the main news that drove the entire market down and as you can see on our uh, right side uh, we have uh, we are deeply in red for the entire market basically and uh, this is quite uh, obvious. So let me show you some news uh, directly related to Lucid and right here uh, on uh, Investor Place we can find this article that is titled Lucid stock investors need to buckle up for a bumpy ride and let me go to these bullets. Lucid Group vehicles production plan falls far short on the analyst community's uh, expectation. Lucid is neither profitable nor well capitalized. Over-eager investors should stay in their line and keep away from LCID stock. And I have to say that uh, this uh, article is quite bearish and uh, one of the main uh, ideas of this article is that uh, uh, they cannot uh, ramp up uh, their sales. They can ramp up their production but they can't uh, ramp up their sales and uh, because of this they uh, cannot achieve uh, net profitability and uh, they are basically burning money and they don't have much money right now because let me show you this example. As of December 31st, 2021, Lucid Group uh, had a cash and cash equivalents totaling $6.26 billion. A year later, that figure shrank to just $1.74 billion. And uh, this uh, was uh, quite uh, uh, alarming uh, news and uh, definitely because of this uh, Lucid cannot uh, uh, reach higher targets uh, on its uh, share price. And let me show you another uh, news. First of all, let me show you that uh, they opened a new retail studio in Oslo, Norway. And uh, definitely uh, the more uh, studios they have, the more opportunities they will have uh, in order to sell their vehicles. But right now they cannot uh, sold uh, a lot of vehicles that uh, are stored uh, on their 
Arizona plant. As you can see right here, they have uh, several lots full of vehicles. And uh, in my opinion, uh, right now they have uh, more than 3,000 vehicles stored and uh, that uh, basically cannot be delivered right now for whatever reasons. We don't know. We don't know any explanations uh, from C executives. We don't know why they store these vehicles. Probably it is the vehicles that uh, should be delivered uh, to the uh, European or Saudi Arabian customers. But we have zero information about that. And uh, definitely it is not the best uh, news. Uh, let me show you some bullish news uh, on uh, Lucid. And uh, right here you can see we have uh, uh, this uh, forum that will take place on March 14th and uh, 15th uh, in Riyadh. And it is a PIF private sector forum. And why it is uh, quite important for Lucid? Let me show you right here. At the bottom of the screen you can find forum speakers. And uh, here you can find Fezal Sultan, Global Vice President and Managing Director of Middle East Lucid. And uh, definitely this might be quite uh, interesting uh, speech and uh, quite interesting information directly related to uh, Lucid and Saudi Arabian relationships. On top of that, let me show you this uh, tweet. Uh, it was made by uh, Saudi Bay. And uh, let me quote it for you. The Saudi PAF has sent uh, out an invitation for private sector forum happening on March 14 and 15. What is for Lucid during this event? Uh, potential opportunities. And uh, here are some bullets. Lucid and local suppliers to sign agreements uh, or more us uh, to supply them with production materials for AMP2. So, quite good, uh, especially when we know that uh, uh, Lucid uh, Motors has some bottlenecks uh, with their supply chain and uh, definitely this uh, might increase their capabilities uh, to produce uh, ready-to-deliver vehicles. Next one. According to this person on Twitter, budget intend to make a purchase, either global or Arabia budget. And here is the tweet itself, and it says, The largest car rental company in the Middle East budget is in advanced negotiations with Lucid to purchase a group of cars. And uh, this uh, might be quite bullish uh, news, uh, definitely. Uh, we all remember uh, when uh, Tesla announced uh, their plans to sell uh, about 100,000 vehicles to Hertz. And uh, it was uh, the major catalyst uh, for its uh, latest leg to the upside that uh, hit its uh, all-time high at, uh, on November uh, 2021. And uh, this might be quite similar action and if uh, it becomes a reality, definitely uh, we will have uh, these vehicles as the potential contenders to be sent uh, to uh, Middle East uh, in order to fulfill this order. And uh, in this case, uh, definitely it will be a major bullish catalyst on Lucid and uh, this will push the price of their stocks higher. But for now, we don't have this confirmation, it is just uh, rumors. And uh, let me quote you further. Interview update from, from Faisal Sultan, Lucid VP and Managing Director of Middle East, as I mentioned uh, uh, just several minutes ago. Next one. Lucid, Lucid and uh, Sharik uh, Gov SA program to sign an agreement to help Lucid secure missing components materials for its existence in Saudi Arabia or global production. So, also quite bullish potential news. And the last one, Lucid and Electromin or others to sign a MOU to establish EV charging network in Saudi Arabia. And uh, yes, uh, we have to wait, we have to passionately wait uh, for the upcoming news. And we also might have uh, several uh, major news for the entire market that will be disclosed uh, this and the next week. As you can see, uh, we will have... Uh, Today we'll have uh, JOLT's uh, job openings and uh, uh, Friday we'll have uh, unemployment rates and uh, definitely this news also might drive the price uh, of entire market either way. That's why we have to be cautious. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we are approaching for the fourth time to the range of $8.12 mark and this uh, was a quite good support range recently. And I have to say that from the technical standpoint, the more attempts uh, we have to uh, retest a certain range, the more likely this range uh, will be broken. And this means uh, for now, unfortunately, I see more bearish pressure on Lucid and I see from the technical standpoint another 
uh, crucial range that uh, might be broken uh, in upcoming sessions and that's why we have to be very cautious and we have to wait for the next leg to the downside that probably might hit uh, 7.43 dollars mark this previous swing low that might act as the range of support so not a very bullish uh, news from the technical standpoint but it is what it is we have to react on the market not to predict it and uh, in my opinion the most uh, probable outcome for now is unfortunately the movement to the downside that's why we have to be cautious and uh, wait for the confirmation of new uh, medium-term uptrend and I will do another update in a matter of just uh, several days and we, I will show you what should we expect next but for now uh, from the technical standpoint that's it uh, if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you